The petitioner, Sakut Amenga Aitego, asked the commission to surcharge Mr. Paul Adamotri with the amount involved regarding the procurement of the Christmas trees and causes removal as board chairman of the entity that manages Ghana's airports. The respondent, Paul Adamotri, according to the Shraj report, indicated that the process of acquiring the trees and light decorations did not lend itself to the procurement acts and therefore he was not at fault. After examining the matters in issue, Shraj found that the respondent, Mr. Paul Adamotri, partly interfered in the procurement of the Christmas inspirations by the Ghana Airport Company Limited in 2021 by making demands for invoices. The interference of the respondent in the procurement of Christmas inspirations by the management of the Ghana Airport Company Limited amounted to the, an abuse of office. That the interference of the respondent in the procurement of the Christmas trees and communications by him were contrary to the principles of corporate governance and that the Christmas inspirations for 2021 were valued at 128,000 and not 118,000 as alleged by the respondent Mr. Paul Adam Otre. All right, so clearly the Shraj report is out. Uh, we are getting reactions to it. But first of all, let's speak to the petitioner, Sakut Amenga Etego, who uh, decided to take the matter up to Shraj to investigate and actually sought some reliefs from Shraj. He's joined us via Zoom for a quick chat. Um, Mr. Amengo Etego, good evening. Thank you for your time. Right, kindly unmute for me so we can hear you. But uh, while you do that, we realize that uh, in your petition to Shraj, you were asking that Paul Adumotre, who is the chair, board chair of the Ghana Airport Company, to be surcharged for the amount that was used to purchase the Christmas trees. Have you seen the Shraj response? And what are your immediate thoughts on the response Shraj has given to that? Hello, Sakut, can you hear me? Right, so um, Sakut Amenga Etego is the one that petitioned Shraj asking them to investigate concerns about some Christmas trees that were procured by the uh, Ghana Airport Company uh, around 2021 where the board chair in, in the person of Paul Adomotri has also been mentioned in the report earlier, uh, or according to the report, Paul interfered or does interfere in the day-to-day -day running of the Ghana Airport Company. And so one of the, um, one of the, uh, one of the reliefs that uh, Sakut was seeking from Shraj as part of his investigation was to ensure that uh, Paul is made to pay back. So we just want to find out from him what he makes of uh, the report that has been released by Shraj. Mr. Sakut, can you hear me? All right, uh, we don't have a good connection to Sakut. Let's go to the phone lines now. We've been joined by the board chairman of the Ghana Airport Company, Paul Adam Ochre. Mr. Adam Ochre, good evening. Thank you for your time on TV3. Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm not hearing you clearly, sir, but I, I, it's okay, I'll manage. Great. To start with, uh, we know that um, you were part of uh, the Shraj investigation. In fact, the petitioner was asking that you, for instance, be made to pay for or be surcharged for the uh, procurement processes of getting some Christmas trees. What are your immediate response to the Shraj response or report to the investigation? Did you say Shraj said I should be surcharged? Sorry? Did you say Shraj said I should be No, I'm saying the petitioner, the petitioner was asking that you be searched. But even before we come to that, I'm asking what your uh, immediate response is on the Shraj report after investigations. Well, my lawyers have called me and uh, celebrated that we have been cleared by Shraj and the Shraj ruling is in our favor. And that everything that the petitioner was looking for, the three main things he was looking for, Shraj denied all of it. You have been... Cleared? You mean Shraj, according to the report, clears you well, of it? No, you should read. No, you should read it. You should read the report. It's in page fifty-two of the report. If have, you look at page fifty-one and fifty-two of the report, it's there. And if you like, I can read it to you. Do you want me to read it? No, I have read it. But uh, well, still on but that particular it, segment, it, Shraj says it, that. that is, uh, Paul, if I may, issue. Paul, if I may, thank yeah. you. Shraj says that you were, amongst other things, meddling. So I'm going to quote specifically what it says in that part that uh, you were, they recommend that Paul Adomotri restrain himself from interfering in the work of management and restrict himself purely to the uh, prescribed functions as board chair. Were you yeah, interfering? Do you that, agree that, that you were yeah, interfering? 
Yeah, that, I don't agree I was interfering. I'll come to that. But that is not the ratio of the report, if I may. That is a comment. The ratio of the report is there. It is the relief, three relief that were sought by the claimant. And all three reliefs were denied. That's the ratio. That's the ruling. That's the, the ratio. That's the court ruling. That's the Shraj ruling. However, Shraj is an organization that is interested in the development of democracy. So they go ahead to make other comments. So they say what you are saying, for instance, that there was some interference. I do not believe so. Because if you look at the board charter of the GACL, the board charter allows the board to have an overview over their activities of management. So that if a, if a board chairman demands an invoice, and I'll tell you the story. The story is that at the time I went in there in 2021, I was told that a certain expenditure was going to be made on the Christmas street. I said to the management and the MD that I do not think that the company is in a position to make that kind of expenditure. Therefore, I will not approve that expenditure, and that expenditure has to come low. You see, the management has a threshold of money they can approve. Beyond a certain amount, they come to the board. So naturally, that was going to come to the board because it has crossed the threshold of management. I said all of these things to Shraj. And so once they crossed the threshold of management, the board had to approve. In making that approval, we determined that the, the value of the Christmas tree spending should not go beyond a certain amount. Now, the request for the invoices to see those invoices was to ensure that there had been compliance with the new decision that had been taken by the board, that the Christmas tree expenditure had been reduced significantly from the decisions that had been made in terms of the invoices that had come. This is what happened. So I do not see how a board that has a certain review jurisdiction over the management cannot ask for something when it is the board that has to approve the money because the money has gone beyond the threshold of the management. This mm. is what happened. And I explained this to Shraj. That is why, whilst I congratulate Shraj for his work because he's done a good job, I am concerned that the application I made before Shraj, that I wanted to film the process, which application was denied, and I accepted this denial because the commissioner has the power to deny it. I really wanted to film this because the high public interest today, if they had allowed me to film, the record of the film would have been there. The film would have been played, and you would have seen the questions and answers, and you would have seen that I had told Shraj that the management threshold had been extended, and therefore the board needed to determine mm. and approve that amount of money. That's what happened. Okay. And while, while at that response, uh, Paul, and, and in concluding this conversation, amongst other things, the petitioner was also asking Shraj that you be removed. So how do you respond to that? Shraj says that they did not find you, uh, that you had been culpable in some of the accusations leveled against you. So what's your response to the bit about you being removed? I don't have any response to it because the commission, which is the referee, has given a decision. So if a goal has been scored and the referee said it's a goal or the referee said it's not a goal, what do I say about it? I have nothing to say. I know that I've not done anything to warrant a removal. I knew that before Shraj said so. Shraj have just agreed with me. So I have nothing to say about that. I just, I'm just happy and thanking Shraj that they have done an excellent job and it's good for our democracy. And I'm happy and I'm thanking the petitioner for actually going to petition the Shraj on this matter so that we can have a ventilation of the matter. I'm very grateful to him. So please send my regards to him. All right. Paula Dumotri, thank you so much. Clearly, this is a conversation that uh, would, um, you know, in the coming days, we'll still continue to have and get further understanding on Paul Adomotri, his board chair of the Ghana Airport Company. Let's see if we can have a better connection now to Sakut, who petitioned Shraj to investigate the concerns of some Christmas trees that were procured, um, you know, under the supervision of the board chair, Paul Adomotri. Sakut, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Thank you for your time. I was asking you my first question, which was that you were seeking, amongst other things, that um, Shraj remove Paul Adomotri as board chair of the Ghana Airport Company and also he be surcharged for the amount of money that was used for the procurement of the Christmas trees. What are your immediate response yes. to Shraj's response? Well, my immediate response is that uh, if you read through the whole report, you realize that they did, a, they did a very thorough job and they, they actually indicted the Ghana Airport Company and they indicted Paul Adomotri. But then when it got to the time for them to buy it, then they couldn't buy it. So they're like, uh, I would say, Shraj is like a dog that had backed so much in the report. But when it came to the biting part, then they refused to buy it. And I, I, I read different motives in, in, into that. But look, I, I've heard people say that uh, he has been cleared. And I, I heard him himself claiming that he has been cleared. I don't understand what. He means by being cleared. Is it, is, is, is it a, a being cleared when the strike says that since 2018 that the, the, the Ghana Airport Company has breached the procurement law at 663? They have, you've been renting Christmas trees without a record to procurement law. Is that clearance? 
Is it clearance when they say that you have abuse of power by getting involved in procurement processes? Yeah, is that clearance? Yeah, yeah but Sakut, per the Shraj report, yeah. they were saying that the Ghana Airport Company as an entity was procuring Christmas trees without recourse to the procurement laws. They did not say Paul Adomotri was involved in that. But don't forget, but they, don't forget they have said that Paul Adomotri was involved with procurement when he, it is he asked for invoices from, from, from companies. And, and when he went out to go and speak and, and defend the Ghana Airport Company about this matter, mm. didn't they say that? They, they, so, and they have said that he abused his power. And, they, and so if you are the board chairman and they say the company has, has breached the procurement law, right. are, you, are you absolved from it? Are you not part of the board? Are you not the board chairman of the company? So if the company has breached the, the procurement law, okay. how do you say that you are wrong? How do you win? So you are but okay. Is, yeah. You clearly are not okay with Shraj's report, are you, or response? You know, I, not, not that I'm not okay. I think that uh, uh, people who have really read the report or who read the report realize that the uh, uh, Shraj has indicted the Ghana Airport Company. They have broken the law since 20, 2018. Okay. They've indicted for, for power. But they only failed. They failed. Don't, don't forget that when they invited Polarumotri to Shraj, he refused to turn up. They had mm. to subpoena him. And, and when they subpoenaed him, he refused to turn in any documents. Okay. So if, if Sakut. they have no well, corruption... Maybe, maybe the we'll evidence is very further on this. But uh, for now, this is what time would allow us. But thank you for making time to speak to us and sharing your position on this Shiraj report.